Hey hello everybody, my name is Kito and welcome back for another video of Lake. We're going to continue this series. In the last video, we uh, did a lot. We went off to save the old lady, crazy old lady's cat. I'm going to stop calling her crazy old because she's actually a pretty nice lady and stuff. Now, what we are going to do here is we're going to end off our work day for today because we literally finished it. We're going to hop on into the next one. And we also gotta remember no, we Angie, we did have a rendezvous right. with Angie really as well, so there it is. Computer. What movie is that? It's called Weird Science. You really haven't heard of it? It was a pretty big hit. I figured you with your computer background. All right, I'll add it to the huge mental list I've been compiling ever since we started talking. So that's Weird Science, Life of Python. <laughs> Brian, Brian, Monty Python's Life of Brian. Right. <laughs> you know, you don't really look the part of a computer nerd either. I contain multitudes. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, I'm off duty for a while. Well, I, I contain multitude, I guess, whatever that means. I contain multitudes. That's Walt Whitman, by the way. Not a movie, so I don't expect you to know. Ooh, touche returned. So, any particular reason you're not at the nerd factory anymore? That's just that I needed a change of scenery. It's complicated. Or I don't really want to talk about it. But it's complicated. Multiple reasons I get, I guess, push and pull. Yeah, it's complicated. Multiple reasons, I guess. Push and pull. Okay, well... I totally get wanting something different, anyway. I used to live in Los Angeles. Oh, really? Then, yeah. Providence Oaks is pretty different. <laughs> sure is. It's quieter, for one thing. Slower, for another. Yeah, those are uh, the, uh, the two things I'd, uh, I like best about it. Yeah, two things I'm having trouble getting used to. So tell me about the, uh, this plan of yours. Yeah, what's the plan of yours, exactly? So tell me about this plan of yours. Is the suitcase part of it? Oh, right. It's simple. I want you to distribute movies all over Providence Oaks. You mean for free? Yeah. You know the town. You're starting to know the people. Not all of them have VCRs yet, but that's why God invented movie boxes. And by God, I mean electronics companies. Look! It's a VCR in a box, and it's portable too, so you can take it to anyone. Yeah, that's pretty huge though. You really, really want me to give to e almost every house of the village a VCR? That'd be shitting me, man. That's gonna wait so much tons. It's gonna weigh a lot. By the end of the day, I'm gonna have no noodle arms. Uh, this is the future of entertainment. Never seen one of these before. Well, I think I've heard uh, of these. heard of these never seen one though I've made a list of potential customers and the movies I think they'll like all you have to do is just deliver the movie box with a movie of their choice then you go and pick it back up once they've watched it okay but what's the revenue model here I don't know I don't know if I'm allowed to do that yeah I don't think I'm allowed I don't know if I'm even allowed to do that I mean I'd be using the truck which is postal service property um, you do know Frank is your boss, right? He's not exactly a stickler for the rules. Plus, it's only two to start. These are for Lori. You know her, right? Mechanic girl? Yeah, sure, I guess. She's a cool girl. Uh, yes, I've met her during my rounds before. Yes, I've met her during my rounds before. Yes, good. I have these two for her. The love bug and... A Nightmare on Elm Street. Oh, really? This one is about murders in a bathtub, right? Uh, it's well, a little bit more than exactly. that, my girl. You'll just have to watch it. But not before Lori gets a chance. I think she'll love it. After Lori gives back the box, I have a couple movies planned for Burt Mackey. They are Jaws and The Dirty Dozen. And that's it for now. If you're in, that is. So, you in? There's are some classics right there that she wants to, them to watch, I guess. Uh, well, all right, I'm in. I'm sorry, NG, but I really can't. Look, I'm not sure if I can actually do this. 
I mean, I, I'm, I'm more than open to do it, but I'm not sure if it's legal. Am I going to get in trouble if I do this? All right, look, um, I think I might do it if I have time to do it, I guess. So I'm in, I guess, for oh, now. These addresses seem to be on my route anyway. I'm in. All right. Thanks a bunch, babe. Now, do you have any more of this great coffee? Actually, I really need to head back. Oh, what's the rush? I left the store unattended. Better get back. Wait, you didn't close the store before leaving? The hell are you thinking? I guess time flies when you're having fun. I'm just gonna say I understand. I understand. Talk to you soon? Absolutely. Well, that was kind of weird. From Angie's part right there. The hell was she thinking though? She literally left her, cl her store without closing it. Like really? Is that how it worked back in the time? Back in the days? Hello? Hey Meredith. Hey dad, how's life? I heard something about poker, fishing and margaritas. <laughs> Talk to mom, huh? But yeah, can't complain. How about you? Do you like my job? I'm starting to love it. To be honest, not too much. Well, I'm starting to actually like it very much. I like that job. I'm starting job. to love it. Being on the road, the freedom, the people. That's great to hear. Frank's quite the character, huh? Frank's quite the character indeed. Is he married? You said you helped him out uh, once. He said you helped him out once. Uh, more than once. Well, what can I say? He likes baseball a bit too much. Places a bet every now and then. Nothing too serious. What about ba uh, Bert Mackey? What about M uh, Mildred? Uh, I'm not sure. Bert Mackey, whatever that means. And what about Bert Mackey? Bert. Uh, Bert doesn't like to talk much, but he's got a heart of gold. Stay on his good side. Speaking of staying on the good side, your mom's telling me to hurry up. We're going to a movie. Okay, Dad, don't keep her waiting. What movie? Uh, Stand By Me. About four Oregon boys in the 50s. Right up my alley. Sounds good. Say hi to Mom for me. Will do. Bye, Meredith. All right, so what do we watch right here? Work on the Adif? Stay at home and watch TV or stay at home and read book? I'm going to work on the Adif 87 material. That's my actual job, though. You know what? I'm not going to work on the Adif 87. I I'm not going to work on that just because it, I'm on vacation right here, kind of. I don't have time to uh, to do work. The hell is this? I'm already working with the postal and stuff. So you really think I'm going to work with my computer stuff? Never mind. I'm not going to do that. Uh, stay home and watch TV, I guess. Yeah, I'm not going to work TV on that Adif on thing. Forget attitude. about it. How's the beef bug in your coming along? I'm not sure, boss. But Henri, it's been cooking for hours. I am Jean-Paul. Henri is my twin brother. Well, all right, it's raining now. It's September. In the 5th of September, boy. So it's raining now. Didn't do my job the last time around. Now we got a lot of packages around right here this time. Uh, it seems like we have more and more to do. And plus, alongside my packages, I actually have to uh, deliver these two movies or these movie thingies to two different addresses. Now, if I look into the, the actual map, which I always forget which one it is. It's M. There we go. We got lots of stuff over here. Then we got a couple of packages here and there. We gotta deliver this. These are the special ones, I guess. The rest are just regular uh, areas, I guess. So we're gonna go ahead and deliver a package to uh, the mail post or whatever, the general store right here. So we got our first package right here. Miss Jenkins, I don't have time to listen to you on the radio right here. Got a job to do. So we are on Main Street right here. Is there actually something we need to uh, pick up right here? Let me see really quick. Uh, it's gotta be this one since we are on Main Street, so. 207. I hope it is the case. I don't actually remember any of these uh, addresses, boys. So I think we're in the right area. 
Otherwise, they would have put me back uh, out. So, uh, what's up, Nancy? It's been a while Here's since we man, talked man. to each other. Ugh, one of those yellow parcels. Isn't uh, isn't yellow the color of fun and happiness? Well, not to my uh, not from my mother's perspective in real life, boys. Uh, don't shoot the messenger. Don't shoot the messenger. It's for that thing behind the door, a photography mini lab. They installed it last week and they want me to operate it. As if I don't have enough on my plate already. It's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. That's pretty nice, actually. I love photography. Some people think they can become professional photographers overnight. But photography can be just for fun, too, right? Well, photography can be just for fun, too, right? Look, if you want to take photographs, knock yourself out. They want me to practice with the mini lab before the service is officially offered. They sent me a practice kit with the camera and film. Okay, I see where this is going. I'm going to tell you already. I don't have time for that. I do not have time for that. I've already have one job with Lori or with the uh, movie store uh, girl. I don't have time to take pictures around uh, around places. I'm afraid I don't have time for that. Oh, thanks, but I'm afraid I don't have time for that either. I guess I'll just have to deal with it myself. Have a nice day, ma'am. Have a nice day too. Alrighty then. So it looks like uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna start taking pictures around. If you think I have time for this, think again. Got so much stuff to do, boys. I got better things to do than taking pictures around. I mean, I've already got all these things to deliver. At some point, you gotta think, right? I can't just be doing everything for everybody. Uh, the people gotta start doing their own thing. Gotta start uh, being independent a little bit more. Uh, instead of always needing the post girl or the postman to do their stuff for them. Alright, so I think this is it right here. We got a... Uh, some sort of quick mail, so it's going to be pretty easy to deliver right here. Let's just go to, uh, uh, right here. Still don't like the fact that we can only walk in this game. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love this game, but if we could run, it would make it so much easier right now because I literally have to enter. Uh, it takes me a while to get in my car and stuff like that, so in, in and out of the car, so whatever. Alright, so this is going to be a problem right here, obviously. Oh shit, watch out now. Yeah, this is going to be a problem, turning around like this is a tight road. Yeah, I'm going to go on the right instead this time around. Right here, there's a bunch of little mail thingies, a bunch of letters that I got to deliver and stuff, so let as well do that first. There's two of them on the left right here, so let's go ahead and do our thing. Uh, we've got one right here, I believe. Let's hop on off of our car. It's right there beside, so I think this is one of the places they got actually um, a package delivered to them, or it's next door. I'm not sure, boys. How the uh, all of these houses kind of look the same, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, right here, so it's kind of um, a, a little bit uh, weird sometimes. You don't really know what to do too much. So uh, we're gonna go here. Oh, see, so this is I think this is the um, the neighborhood of. My uh, former friend's house, right? I think she lives next door over there or somewhere. Somewhere around the place. Pretty sure that's where uh, we encountered her before. Alright, let's head back uh, back out. We've got a net. We got a car right here. or not. We've got another delivery to do. On the right. Let's go ahead and do it, boys. Oh, let's pass it. Right here. By the way, guys, I want to quickly uh, thank you all for your incredible support of your past three days. I say, I know I've said it uh, recently, probably the last video, but uh, really love you guys, and uh, it means a lot. Your support means a lot to me. And um, there, there is something new, by the way, that I do want to share with you guys. Is that um, soon enough, if not in this video, a uh, couple, uh, maybe the next video or something like that. I'm gonna start having. This is not the right, uh, right place. This is the other one. Soon enough, I'm gonna start having uh, a new editor or uh, my own personal editor uh, for videos and stuff. So uh, be kind to her. Obviously, it's my sister, boys. So um, be very kind to her. Uh, she's a professional editor, and um, I kind of needed one, to be honest. 
I'm not sure for how long she's gonna be doing videos for me, but uh, or editing my videos. But uh, we'll see. And I'm currently watching, uh, testing her for a couple of uh, test videos. See what can we tweak and stuff like that. What can what is fun and what's not fun. So uh, we're gonna test that out, boys. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And once this, once she starts, you're gonna see that she's very talented. And you're probably gonna like it more uh, with her as an editor than if I stay a the editor myself because I'm a pr pretty bad one. I can pretty much just cut some parts up and stuff like keep I keep it pretty much simple. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more comedic at some points. Uh, like stuff that I usually have in mind I can't do. She's going to be able to probably do it, boys. So it's going to be fun for all of us. I'm, I'm very excited uh, for uh, for that project to, uh, to come in, boys. So we're going to... Have a lot of fun and stuff so let's continue to deliver these mails but there's so many of them interesting. what's interesting about it it's just a box my girl you've seen like a hundred of them by now the hell are you talking about all right so now we can actually get out of here what i'm gonna end up doing i think i'm gonna fast travel to that point i'm gonna get these two boxes done and then i'll deliver the movies all right so uh i'm gonna fast travel to I guess East Crossroads real quick. All right, so I went ahead and fast travel. We actually are in the road right here to deliver this package. So we're gonna head back right here. I probably should have turned right instead and uh, delivered the first package that was right behind me, but I'll just head back. Oh, this is Mo's Diner. We got another package at Mo's Diners. How many times does she need food or something? I don't even think it's actually food because it's not the same thing. And I'm not the same people, uh, the same person that delivers food and all, so it's kind of weird, boys. So 500 and Lake Reed uh, or Road, I guess that's what it uh, me uh, that's what it means. So this is the one right here. We gotta actually take that one. There we go, and let's go deliver it. Let's go talk to um to uh, to the lady right here, to Maureen, I guess. She's probably gonna uh, have another adventure for okay. me right here. Delivery oh, it's actually diner. not her. Hey, Meredith. Sure. Just uh, put it on the counter, would you? It's my old friend. Okay. About the other day. What about it? I really put my foot in it. Uh, how did things end up with the moon landing? How did things end up with the moon landing? Actually, I got stuck on the moon. But then I took a really big jump for the rocket and got back on board just in time. Grace voiced a few objections regarding the scientific accuracy of that move, but hey. As long as it gets you to where you need to be, right? Uh, Grace sounds like a good kid. <laughs> Grace sounds like a great kid. Yep. So... I talked to Maureen. This is a bit awkward. I actually... I was dropping off the package. See you. I'm not just going to leave like that. I, I do want to talk about it. So... Uh, about her dad dying, so... I talked to Maureen. Let me guess. You got a piece of Maureen's wisdom too, eh? Why doesn't that surprise me? That explains why she wanted me to take over today's shift then. She told me about old, old Uncle Stan. I'm so sorry. It was good seeing her again. Dinner looks good. Uh, the diner looks good too. Look, uh, I, I t I'm sorry about Uncle, Uncle Stan, right? She told me about it's a, Uncle it's Stan. a great dad. He, he was a great so sorry. person. Thanks. It was a long time ago, but. I appreciate it. It's not the same without him. I'm sorry I wasn't there. Um, I wish you have told me about her uncle. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna. Mm, I'm not gonna go that way. Uh, so much has happened. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't there for you. I guess. I'm sorry I wasn't there for you and Maureen. That's kind of you to say, Meredith. I mean, I didn't contact you about it at the time, but then again, I. I'd kind of given up by then. Well, I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. I guess everyone has their own things to deal with. Even me. I get it. There's always a reason for things to go the way they do. Even so, it never seems to be the right reason. Well, I, I, I'm just going to say thanks for understanding. <laughs> thanks for understanding. Time marches on. What did Maureen always say about that again? One day you realize it's, it's marching across, across your across face. Your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mo. Some things never change. You say that like it's a good thing. 
Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Didn't she steal that line from somewhere anyway? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Em. It was good to talk, I mean, you know. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. I have to get back to it, but see you around, maybe? I'm sure. See ya. All right, so he's, he's more open-ended now to actually talk to me again. That actually, that's a good thing. So maybe uh, we'll set up a rendezvous at some point. Uh, at some point, I'm not sure, boys, but uh, that's a good sign right there. She actually wants to talk to me again. First time around when we saw her for the first time, I think she was just in shock. So that's why she kind of did not want to uh, talk to me at all. But it seems like now, like she's open-minded. We talked to her a little bit at uh, had her job. Seems like uh, she's uh, she's okay with it. So now we gotta go all the way there. I believe this is the farm, right? Yeah, there's some sort of farm over here. So it's gonna be our first time actually going there, and I'm gonna end up just destroying the goddamn farms and and everything right there by just going straight through off the road for some reason. There was a guy right there. I'm not sure if it's just a, a regular guy. That's he's not the guy living here. I mean, you would uh, think that probably the farmers, they would all live there. But uh, let me just deliver the package. I'm pretty sure the guy that was there uh, was the one that I had to deliver the package to. So I could have just... Uh, he probably saw me anyways, right? He's probably coming in or is on his way. So uh, 300 in, uh, Lake Road. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's the one right here. This, it's like a, some sort of briefcase. Oh, it's like the VCR and stuff. Okay, I got you. So we're actually delivering the VCR today. I grabbed the wrong package. What you mean the wrong package? This is not the place? I guess it's not the package, uh, the right package, boys. Never mind. Guess uh, he doesn't want a VCR. What do we, uh, what is it then? It's it's this one. Of course, it says Reynolds, uh, Reynolds Farm. Of course, boys, why not? I literally picked up the wrong thing. What am I, stupid? All right, let's, uh, let's go ahead and deliver it. We're gonna ring the doorbell, of course. I'm pretty sure the guy's... It's a guy over, all the way over there, though. Hey, uh, or maybe oh, not. Sir? I reckon that's a parcel with my name on it. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds. I reckon your name is Jack Reynolds. Indeed I am. And I reckon you're the new postal worker. I reckon you could say that. I reckon you could say that. Well, thank you much. New around here, I reckon. People call me JR. I'm a farmer and DJ. I'm Meredith. Nice to meet you. DJ and farmer. That's a rare combo, huh? DJ and farmer? That's a rare combo. Indeed it is. But it's a nice distraction from farm. Uh, seen better times. I had some spare time and a room in the shed, so I figured, why not? About your playlist. It's really nice. I think he could use some more songs. I think it's really nice. It's really nice. Thanks, but I really need to add more songs. But I'm in the middle of a potato harvest. Don't have much time. Hey, listen, postal worker Meredith, I need to get back to work. Can you do me a favor and give this envelope to Frank? Uh, sure, no problem. I'll, I have to head back there anyways to finish my, uh, my shift, so I might as well, right? Sure, no problem. Thank you so much. Alright, he's a great dude. So that's the guy on the radio. He's literally doing the radio for the entire city, boys. And on the sa at the same time, he's farming. He's literally a farmer. The hell? How does he find time for both of those things? Let's go ahead and do that. Are we gonna need to choose the movie for her, or hey, is w. both alright for her? Mail for me today? No, but I have something else. Angie from the Flick Shack asked me to deliver some movie boxes. She also asked me to deliver some to you. Oh, Ty, what are the options? Let me see. The Love Bug or A Nightmare on Elm Street. You probably love the Love Bug. Uh, uh, you'll probably love that bug. Okay, that's a cheesy pun and I don't like it. That's la That last one might be too scary. Well, I'm not sure about that one. It's, it's really scary actually. It's one of the scariest movies I've ever watched, boys. Oh, that last one might be too scary. Too scary. I'm almost 16, Miss W. I 
can take a horror movie. It's not if just a horror summary, movie, my girl. I wouldn't want it's to next level. Actual nightmares. I promise I won't get any nightmares. So you'll pick a nightmare on Elm Street? Give me the love bug. I thought you didn't want that one. Well, the scary movie is too scary after all. Scary movie too scary after all? No, of course not. But if my parents catch me watching Elm Street, they'll ground me for a week. I That's wish true. I just take a chill pill and see that I'm basically an adult. I fix cars. Oh, no, that's too bad, Lori. Maybe you can watch it at a friend's house instead. No, I'm homeschooled. There aren't many teenagers here, as you may have noticed. So I don't really have any friends to watch it with. So it's a love bug for me. Okay, well, I guess you're gonna have to take the love story, whatever, the love bug. Uh, take the love bug and we'll watch the horror movie at my place. Uh, well, I'm sure you'll like it too. Wait, I, I can uh, offer her to come at my place and we can watch the movie uh, together? That sounds like a nice idea, but uh, you know what? Uh, I'm sure you'll like it too. I'm not gonna start inviting sure people, like random people at my house all the time. get to see time. a nightmare on Elm Street one day. I guess so. Thanks, Miss W. Have a nice day. You too, Lori. As much as it's the same thing, boys, I'm not just gonna start literally uh, uh, offering people to come at my house any time of the day. Like, come on now. Really? She wants to watch a movie, she's gonna have to own it at some point, own it to her parents and actually start watching them by herself. The only way for you to actually see new movies is by sometimes, especially for horror movies, by sometimes going against your parents' back, to be honest. They're, ne they're, they're never gonna let you anyways watch our movies at that age, so... I mean, I think it's about them time you, you start, my girl, doing whatever it is you need to, uh, to do in order to watch these movies. If she tells me that she hasn't listened or watched uh, Nightmare on Elm Street yet and she can't do it, that just means to me that she probably didn't even watch Friday the 13th yet as well. I mean, come on now. Cold classics, boys, you gotta watch them. Forget about your parents. That's right, I forgot about the well, whole uh, situation right here. Meredith I'm supposed to work with Robert on the Welcome whole thing. To Mo's. Table for two. Hi, Maureen. Yes, please. A quiet one, if possible. We've got work to do. Is that what they're calling it now? Speaking of work, Robert, someone reckoned they could fix the roof themselves and uh, <clears throat> made it worse somehow. I mean, foot just went right through. No physical harm, thankfully. The roof. Yes, I promised to take a look at it. Uh, let me check out the damage real quick. Be right back. Thanks, darling. Hm, sure is one of the good ones right there. He seems very nice, but I haven't actually talked to him longer than 10 minutes. What's time got to do with anything? You know what you want when you see it, hon. What are you talking about? What do you take me for? Oh, Maureen, please. What do you take me for? For a human being, of course. Don't go telling me city life turned you into a robot now. I don't buy it for a second. Anyway, let me show you to my nicest table. I hear the sun hits your face in all the right places here. Maureen literally okay, thinks so I'm so I've got something uh, uh, going on with Robert. Are you crazy? No chainsaws. Definitely no chainsaws for the moment. It's just that the remaining options will take time, effort, and patience. Well, that's one out of three for me. Can I get you lovebirds? Anything else? Maureen, really? I could always decide not to fix your roof today, you know? Don't worry, Robert. I know Maureen. I'm sure she doesn't mean anything by it. <laughs> Why are you laughing like that? Are you nervous, my girl? Are you actually in love with him or something? You wouldn't be laughing if it, was, if it wasn't the case. Uh, a coffee refill would be nice. I could go for a glass of wild wine. Ah, forget about wine. Coffee, neither. No thanks. I, I have to be heading home. No thanks, Maureen. I ought to be heading home. Oh, all right. Well, it was great having you both. Let me get the check for you. Glad we're finally done for today. But there's more to come. I'm sure you'll do fine, my guy. I'm sure you'll do fine. Thanks, but you don't sound very convincing. 
What do you mean I don't sound convincing? I am honest. Be honest, you'll probably need some extra help. You'll be fine. When the uh, when the going gets tough, though. You'll be fine. When the going gets tough. The tough get going. I love that song. Okay, you two hard-working individuals. Here you go. Thanks, Maureen. I'll get that check. It's the least I can do. So, how's life in PO so far? It's only been a week, but... It's been really nice. So far, so good, I guess. So far, so good. Yeah, I've been here a bit longer. You okay, my dude? Time sure does fly. When you uh, when you are having fun, well, I'm sure you have uh, you have some good stories. I'm sure you must have some good stories. Yeah, uh, look, Meredith, I'm sorry. I really better get started on fixing that roof. It's just uh, that's quite a big job. While it's still light out and all, you know. So, thanks so much for your help. I mean, I really do appreciate it. Drive home safe. Um, I'll see you around town. So, yeah, I'll see you. Is he okay? Did he fell on his ass or something? Everything What's going okay on with him? Over here? Yeah, I guess. I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on with him right here. Seemed like he was having a nervous breakdown or something. Good day. My name is Walter Morgan. I'm from the Postal Service. I'm calling with regards to compliance to policies and guidelines, such as the use of Postal Service property, code of conduct, and so on. I will be in touch again soon. What does that mean? Am I already in trouble for getting that old movie thing? It's just one time. Meredith, it's Steve. Hi, Steve. What's up? What's up, Steve? Hey, uh, I'm calling about the priority mail. I didn't receive it. Any idea what's going on? Yeah, I did not send it. Oh, snap. I'm sorry. I forgot all about it. Yeah, I did not send it. Yes, I did not send it. You didn't send it? Uh, what's going on? Is, is something wrong? I just didn't feel like it. I think I need a break. Just very busy. I will mail it, uh, mail it to you tomorrow. I just didn't feel like it, Steve. I just didn't feel like it, Steve. I think I needed a break. Go. Okay. Hmm. Well, uh, yeah, well, don't worry about it, Meredith. I'm sure you'll be the normal and awesome Meredith again soon. And uh, I, I really need you. We're super close to signing a monster deal. Monster deal sounds awesome. Could be posted. Monster deal? Sounds awesome. Yes. Super awesome. I'll keep you posted. Get it? <laughs> okay. Uh, bye. I don't want to piss him off, but I'm not going to work on it. So, stay at home and watch TV again. I, I'm never going to read a book. Read bo reading books is for, is for old people. I, I don't read books, boys. Jean Paul has agreed to become the chef of the downtown restaurant. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Rock and roll. There is only one problem. Jean Paul is not a cook, but a car technician. <laughs> Good morning, Meredith. There's an envelope today with an incomplete address on it. It only says Mickey and June, Lake Campground, Providence Oaks. Do you think you can find that? Well, I'm afraid not, Frank. I I'm not going to go around and try and find it. Mm, I'm afraid not, Frank. It's easy. Just drive past Jack Wendell's land, and it appears on your right side on the lake shore. Thanks. Oh, by the way, Frank, I wanted to ask you something. I will not babysit Mildred's cats. <laughs> no, it's about something else. What's in those envelopes for you? It's uh, is sports be betting legal? Uh, what's in these env uh, those envelopes? What's in those envelopes for you? Oh, that's just for stamps. Saves them the hassle of driving up here. Hey, I gotta get back to work. Catch you later. So I might not actually be the one getting in trouble. I got a feeling that he's doing sports betting and stuff like that. Or illegal betting. That's what's going on between him and the farmer and stuff. And that's probably what the call was all about. I don't know. I'm sure why they're calling me for though. He should be calling the post office. But uh, that's very strange. We'll see boys. So 
Uh, remember to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys for the next one. Keep it easy.